know, D-Money has been the self-proclaimed real GIPW heavyweight champion since my time here at GIPW, and he has overcome a lot of odds, but the odds are definitely not in his favor tonight. He's definitely stacked a bunch of chips against himself. Up next we have one of my favorites here at G by GIPW, Sean Angelo Montana. Sean Angelo Montana, a man who I've had the pleasure to call a handful of matches of, and it was right here in this building. Sean Angelo Montana took the chief, the titan weight, the king monster of GIPW, Austin Towers, to the absolute limit. Sean Angelo Montana has been around GIPW since day one. Look at the determination on his face. Knowing good and well what's going to wait for him once the bell starts. Sean Angelo Montana has got to be a little inside of his head right now, but that's where we shouldn't be. Should live in the now and in the moment. John Montana staring at D-Money as he's putting on his chains to the ring. We now have two men chained to the ring. Divine Intervention, one of the scariest tag teams that I've ever had to witness in real life. Pastor Troy Navarro and Tony James are two of the sickest, brutal, I don't even know what other words to describe them, just sadistic people who love to inflict pain. And here in one match, you have to deal with both of them. But both of them can't become the real GIPW heavyweight champion. That is true, and it could also cause some conflict later on in the match, potentially. The crowd here, obviously not as big a fan as the, of Divine Intervention as I am. And introducing next. about a very dangerous individual. That is the serpent assassin, Brandon Watley. In my opinion, this man arguably has the deadliest strikes out of anybody on the GIPW roster. The spin kick of doom from Brandon Watley has put men in the hospital. Brandon Watley at his time here at GIPW, I've watched him knock many a head to the ground. I did not know who was going to be in this uh, chain match, but Nathaniel, Nathaniel Vanderbilt is making his way to the ring. With rose gold right by his side. 
Nathaniel Vanderbilt was one of the very first people to perform in the uh, GIPW pre-show. And now look at him, he's in the main event at Unchained 4. And look at that, just to show up the money, he's coming out here with two stacks in hand instead of one. That's what's right, GIPW, love that money. Show me the money, Mr. Vanderbilt. Hey, bring some of that my way. I'm tired of being broke. I need a new pair of Crocs. You mean Croc, you peg leg freak? <laughs> well, unfortunately, you can't buy just one. You have to buy two. Every time I hear this song, I think about Step Brothers. I think I say that every time I hear his music. But all I can think about is Will Ferrell at the Catalina Wine Mixer, Noah. It's the freaking Catalina Wine Mixer. So this time we're going to start with Vanderbilt and Brandon Whiteley. A ninja and a rich man get in the ring together. They're being watched by a preacher and another rich man. Only at GIPW. Chance of counterfeit going through the crowd here. This crowd trying to get into the head of Nathaniel Vanderbilt, but that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The quote-unquote real GIPW heavyweight title belt. At this point, the chance of funny money could apply to two of our uh, wrestlers in this match. Good luck kiss from Rose Gold and Nathaniel Vanderbilt. Ladies and gentlemen, tag, uh, <laughs> RJ4 is underway. For anybody just catching up with us on Fight TV, this is GIPW's WrestleMania. This is the Super Bowl, Noah. This is the Stanley Cup. It's the NBA Finals. The World Series. The World Series. It's the Olympics of curling, okay? This is the biggest event that GIPW does every year. And I'm glad to be spending it with you, my friend. I am so proud to be sitting here to call this main event. Nathaniel ba Vanderbilt sat down by Brandon Whiteley in early moments. Brandon Whiteley so fast on his feet. He could hit you and you didn't even know he hit you. You're just laying on the ground. Cover. Got that leg hook. Just a one, though. Hey, lock to Brandon Whiteley from Nathaniel Vanderbilt. This is, this is the way that you slow uh, Brandon Watley down. Oh, what a vicious mm -hmm. form shot from Brandon Watley. Brandon Watley hit Nathaniel Vanderbilt so hard that he fell down too. Watley, what a vicious elbow drop. Grabbed Brandon Wiley by the ankle. It looks like D Money is going to be the next content contender to get into the ring. Brandon Wiley could potentially be facing a 2 on 1 situation here. 
Team Money straight for Brandon Wiley. Team Money delivering a vicious clothesline. Well, you called it. D Money wanting the form and alliance with Nathaniel Vanderbilt. A low sight. Vanderbilt and D Money are just forming a money mob on Brandon Watley right now. This might be the longest point of time for Brandon Watley that he's experienced at all this year. Daniel Vanderbilt, very happy with himself. Oh, what an overhand, as you love to say. D-Money with the overhand Cheeto dust. Brandon Whiteley, it's in a bad way. For the first elimination, no. Brandon Watley is tough, but this onslaught between two contestants coming after you, wearing you down, it, it, it has to drain you mentally and physically. Trying to fight back, just throwing any strikes he can, but... Double suplex for Vanderbilt and Dean Money. Who is next to be unchained is like, Sean Angelo Montana. While well, that's happening, we've got an exchange of money. The money trying to pay Vanderbilt to, to lay down. All the while, there's Sean Montana. Quit, th quit throwing the money and just throw the dice already. Montana not wanting to step up into this rich people quarrel. Hey, look at all that money there. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> you have to be professional, Noah. I know it's a lot of money. Oh, it's a cheater dust from Sean Montana of Vanderbilt. Oh, no. Exposing that torso. That bird chest has been exposed. Vanderbilt taking another dose of Cheeto dust. What a German suplex to D Money. Wally Wadley. Wadley. Wadley inside out. Wally catching the suplex as well. Those German suplexes are one of Sean Montana's favorite things to do. Oh, what a form shot now. He's got him hooked. Oh. Back suplex face buster from Angelo Montana. Sean is hype. Oh, D Money though with the kick to the midsection. Sending Sean Angelo Montana into the ring post. Fighting this many people at one time. It's hard to know who you've put down and who's still up as D Money has just proved. Oh, what a Superman punch from Sean Angelo Montana, but... Kyle, think about it for a minute, though. We still have both members of Divine Intervention on the outside of the ring to get involved in this matchup. And now it looks like it's going to be Tony James. We have a lot of our most savage talent in the ring right now. Brandon Watley teeing off on Vanderbilt. Oh, my God, what a right hand. Look like Tony James is having a hard time over on his side of the ring. Whoa, that was the scissors kick! Wait a minute, the scissors kick! Vanderbilt! No, Tony James has just chained D Money on the outside of the ring. D Money cannot. He has been rechained. At unchained four, we got our first rechained. But, but also. 
And while you were paying attention to Tony James handcuffing D Money back to the ring post, Nathaniel Vanderbilt was eliminated at the hands of the scissors kick by Brandon Watley. But now Tony James, the freshest man in this match, is doing some damage. And he'll call him the Baron for no reason. Falcon's arrow. He did the deal. No. Just a two count. <laughs> Tony James picking up whatever money he can, stepping it into his tights. And now Tony James sitting Sean Angelo Montana on that top rope. He delivers a vicious slap right across the jaw. And now he's going up to that top rope. He's got him hooked. He could be thinking superplex here. Oh, Watley coming in. No way. No way. Tower of Doom! The Tower of Doom in our Unchained main event! Brandon Wiley with a two count on Tony James, just as Troy Navarro is getting into the ring with a, a chair. A chair right across the back, but this is unchained. There are no disqualifications. I'm actually surprised that someone hasn't hit someone earlier than just now with something. Troy Navarro sends it. Now at this point, Montana is the only focus of divine intervention. And that is not the crosshairs you want to be in. Of course, Sean Angelo Montana has had some bad blood with the fine intervention in our past events here at GIPW. Sean Angelo Montana taking that back bomb. Actually, no, I no, no. I thought that was three, ladies and gentlemen. At the last millisecond, Sean Angelo Montana rolling that shoulder up, but he's going to be punished for doing so. Wait a minute. Wally's got the nunchucks. Wally with the nunchucks. Wally's got the nunchakus. Troy Navarro. Karakatoa with a healthy dose of nunchucks to his back. And now he's just measuring Troy Navarro off the ropes. A snow, he went for the second scissors kick. And what a miss in the crack of that steel chair. You could hear the crack of steel across the flesh. Steel wins every time. Gut rich. Combination dropping Watley on top of his neck. That's going to be it for Brandon Watley. Two people with the pin. And many that you probably viewed as a favorite in this matchup has been eliminated. Vanderbilt and Brandon Whiteley just missing their chance at the real GIPW heavyweight title. Meanwhile, it looks like Sean Angelo Montana is virtually incapacitated right now and D-Money is handcuffed. Divine intervention can just do whatever they want right now as they roll the semi-unconscious body of Sean Angelo Montana, who's busted wide open. Oh my God, Sean Angelo Montana is bleeding right from the top of his head. He has donned the crimson mask. No, oh, no way. No, not this, not this. Oh no, able to flip out of it! Montana able to dodge the fire breaker! A German! German suplex to Tony James, knocking Tony James around like a pinball. Tony James has got the chair. Sean Montana is in a bad way. Oh! Just inadvertently sabooing his own partner! DDT. This could be all for Tony James with one simple move. Sean Angelo Montana has eliminated Tony James, leaving only one member of Divine Intervention. Prayers not being answered for Divine Intervention in this matchup. Instead, as the song goes, God cut him down. Sean Angelo Montana going top. Is he going for the patented frog splash? Rest in peace, it. Eddie Guerrero Frog Splash from Sean Angelo Montana. Sean Angelo Montana is going to single-handedly eliminate Divine Intervention. 
John Angelo Montana has just taken out the entire tag team of Divine Intervention, leaving only Dean Money, who is still handcuffed to the ring post. Wait a minute, Noah. Look at the bottom of your screen. That is the hand of money. Wait a minute. D-Money D got free. D-Money got free. And he's got that chain wrapped around his fist. D-Money's got the chain wrapped around his fist. Oh, he missed. What a clothesline. John Angelo Montana's jelly need. He needs to fight. Fight through the exhaustion. Oh, able to dodge. Went to deliver the splash. And now he's got him up. What a backbreaker. Nasty backbreaker for D-Money. But just a one. All the punishment that Sean Angelo Montana has gone through in this matchup. And he's still showing defiance kicking out at one. It's going to take a lot to keep Sean Angelo Montana down. It seems like he's tried to catch a second win until it just got need out of him. Sean Angelo Montana keeps getting up with all the energy exerted on himself and he still has to drive to climb the top rope. He's digging deep. Everything he's got left. But D-Money back to his feet and just drives that chain right across the back of the neck. D-Money relentless. And another shot with the chain and Angelo Montana all the way back down to the floor. And again, Sean Angelo Montana is just busted wide open. The blood loss has got to be taking its effect right now. Your equilibrium is thrown off when you lose so much blood. And oh no, not this on the floor, not on the floor, no, onto the apron. My God. The money is just relentless in the pursuit of keeping his belt, wrapping the chain around his hand once more. How many strikes with this chain can Sean Angelo and Montana Not take? Many more. Oh, Montana able to block. He's saying no, that's not it. What a headbutt. Oh, D Money just sent careening right into the ring post. John Angelo Montana still managing to dig down deep to keep an offensive onslaught onto D Money. D Money again, his head just doinking right off the ring post, and now Montana's got the chair. And now, right out here in front of us, right out here in front of us, correct! And now just going into our VIP section and no way, no way. Is he thinking what I think he's thinking? Come on, Sean, no. Come on, don't do this. Don't do this, Sean. It's not worth your career, no, no. Fox splash to the stage, Fox splash to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no padding, nothing. That is solid wood and the smallest bit of carpet that could give you rug burn. And the cover, but the pinfalls don't count anywhere in this. Pins don't count anywhere. If they did, there is no doubt in my mind that Sean Angelo Montana would be the winner, but... D-Money may have just got saved by rules. Which is so ironic giving the chronic rule breaker that he is. That the rules have saved his ass in this main event. That is very true. D-Money. Into the cover though, it still may have been enough. No. D-Money kicks out. Just that little bit of time to get him back into the ring was all that D-Money needed to afford to kick out.
Angelo, though. Are you more of a sharpshooter or a Scorpion Deathlight guy? The sharpshooter! Sharpshooter! Middle of the ring! D Money's got nowhere to go! D Money refusing to quit! D Money's only hope in this situation is to make it to the bottom ring. He's looking to get to that bottom rope. He's just crawling. D Money hits it. But again, no disqualifications. I guess you're all right. But just on instinct, on instinct, Montana broke the hole, but he's got that chain. D Money's got nowhere to run. He's got a rope saddled and gilded. That chain proving to be the downfall of D Money. And wait a minute. Look where D Money's positioned. He's in the perfect spot. He's in the drop zone. What's Sean Angel and Montana thinking? Oh! Corkscrew Centon! Arm over! He did it! Angel Montana has won it! Sean Angel and Montana did it! He has beat D Money for the real GIBW Heavyweight Championship! This has got to be the best feeling for Sean Angelo and Montana right now. Sean Angelo and Montana ending the long run of D Money in our main event this evening. What a moment! D Money going back to all of his old tricks, and in the end, all it did was signify his downfall. Now we got, we got the GRPW locker room. Coming out to celebrate with the, with Sean Angelo Montana, who has always been this close to winning the big one, but tonight he did win the big one. And our general manager, Alex Chase, also joining him in the ring. Wait a minute, D Money. D Money's got the championship in hand. I think he's still in denial here. The passing of the torch, as they say. D Money showing that sign of respect to the competitive nature of Sean Angelo Montana, who fought, dug deep, and gave every last bit he had. And it was just enough. The crowd chatting, you deserve it, Sean Angelo Montana. As you said, he has been around since day one, always, always, just a trigger close. And, uh, and falling short, but now this is his time. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible night of action we witnessed here at GIPW Presents Unchained 4. Thank you so much for tuning into our broadcast. For everyone who's joined me in the booth, Stroh the Great, Kyle Croft, Maestro, and Tyreek. We'll see you next month! <laughs>